Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of the vlogs. We're out here in Henley walking yam pre-training but as you can tell the water is glass and the mornings are getting darker so as you can tell from the title we're going to talk about just that sort of winter blues and things you might be able to do to combat that especially as it gets darker, colder, wetter and we're trying to train and we're trying to get up in the morning but the eyes seem like they're glued shut but I just want to say as well one thing so remember only a few months ago now the tents were up for Henley Royal Regatta so the time's flying by as per usual but the grass is almost fully back to its former glory and then getting prepared for next year for next year's Henley Royal Regatta for 2020 but like I said we're going to talk about just that little bit of sort of mental happenings that do happen as we head into the winter but first things first we have to finish the walk with yam get on the water and then a couple of tips that I use to help me get through the winter mentally not just physically so let's get into the club get ready get changed get warmed up get rolled out and get on the water oh yeah And we're outside of the club, letting Maya and Yam run around, play around, get some energy out of them while we go back out on the water. But earlier I spoke a little bit about that sort of getting through the winter. And I feel that one of the biggest things for me is just daylight and light. So when it does get dark really early, it brings the mood down. So there's a couple of ways you can affect that, make that a little bit easier transition. There are things called sad lights or season, seasonal affective disorder lights that you can sit in front of for certain periods of time during the day and it's when it's dark and it supposedly gives you a little bit more of that sort of day light. But they're specific lights, they have to have the certain number of brightness, etc. And that's one thing to do because when it goes into springtime, when it starts to get light again, you can sort of feel the mood improving as the days get longer and the days get brighter but that is one tip sort of using a light like that or even just another thing I did last year I took a weekend away when we had a weekend off of training to go to somewhere where it was sunnier, sunnier warmer and brighter and I went down to Spain last year for a weekend but that's another sort of thing this year I'm going to try out that that light that's seasonal affective disorder light and that's what people can sort of get down or mentally find it difficult in the sort of winter autumn months when it starts to get darker when it starts to get colder when it starts to get wetter but there's a big difference as well when you're training and i'll get on to sort of tips for that after this session <laughs>
son. We have finished the row in the pair with Robson. Where's the son? There's the son. In the what used to be the learn to row pair, but who knows what it's called now. But now, after the session, it's time to go fuel up because remember, food is fuel. And we have made it outside of the club again for Maya and Yam to play. But as you can see, or as you did see, we're in the pair, Robson and I, and fueling up on Vegetarian Wednesdays, which ties in a little bit to a little bit of the improving mental health, especially through the darker winter months and through the rest of the, or the next part of the season. It may sound very simple, and I do say it every so often about variation, because variation really can affect motivation and your sort of frame of mind. It means sometimes that you can get a, a different perspective on what you're doing, and it can just be as simple as changing your, your meals a little bit. Just change them a little bit round, because even then, say you eat the same thing quite often, and you get bored of that, that can fade into, or move into other things that make you bored of that but you can sort of just by changing a meal can refresh you a little bit and then you can go refreshed into other things too and the same thing goes we've been sort of moving around in different boats as well and that can have an effect on sort of your motivation just because you're changing things up you're doing things a bit differently even though we're still rowing you have to so for example in the four i have to feel like i'm doing something a bit different because it's a faster moving boat rather than the pair and especially if you're changing different people in a pair you have to adjust in different ways to work with them but that's kind of two big tips for trying to get through the winter trying to get through the darker months that little bit more sort of motivated and that little bit more fresh and it really is a big big thing of mental health like I said at the start not a lot of people really talk about it and it is important, equally as important as your physical training is making sure you're mentally there to be able to complete the training itself. And just having, being mentally aware of your state of mind can really affect what you're doing training wise. So say some days you feel physically fresh but you feel mentally drained and then you go attack training and it may not feel like your body is being tired but it makes your your mind more tired and then you start sort of running into problems that like your motivation starts to just not be coming back and it becomes problematic to just okay now I have to just force myself to get out of bed rather than being able to hop out of bed and back to what I said at the start of the video using things like um, the sad lamps the seasonal affective disorder lamps supposedly I can't vouch for them can help you in that sort of getting up in the uh, morning better because they also associate themselves with lamps that sort of mimic sunrises and sunsets which supposedly wake you up that bit more gradually rather than that shock of the alarm which can really affect you in the darker months where when your body is thinking it's dark, it's sleeping time and when realistically it's time to get up and time to go train. So things like that as well, not just the alarms it's not just the sad lights for during the day when it is dark. You're sitting 20 minutes in front of them trying to improve the mood there, but also lights um, and alarm clocks that do sort of fade in and out of a sunset sunrise to let you gradually fall asleep and gradually wake up as well. And lastly, a huge, huge thing for getting through winter training in the winter months is sleep. As we've got another dog joining the party, sleep is absolutely massive. So not just waking up and going to sleep at the right times or in the right way and waking up fresh but making sure you get enough some people say they can operate on five hours of sleep and some people definitely can but if you're training for like once a day or more than once a day it's almost guaranteed that five hours six hours is not enough for you and you need to get more and sleep is a hugely underrated thing to talk about in your mental health your physical health the repairing of everything in your body not just the repairing your muscles if you have went and did weights one day and you're repairing sort of them being torn but also 
refreshing the mind, letting your mind get rid of stresses and all that that's been building up, sleep can push them away and let them reset for the next day. But if you're not getting enough, that doesn't really happen. But now that is the end of the video, Yam Squad. Going to play with Yam and Maya a little more. Hopefully you've enjoyed a little bit of a more serious topic today because I feel like it can be very important going into the winter. And the biggest thing out of all of the things is if you are, if you do feel like you are struggling, reach out to someone. It doesn't have to be me. It doesn't have to be a coach. It could just be your friend or, or anyone who you feel that you can reach out to. Reach out to them and, and talk about how you're feeling because that can be sort of a big thing too. Just understanding how you feel can then make it easier to, if there is an issue or a problem, it makes it easier to come up with a solution and make you feel better. And that's how I, I spoke to people about the, the lights, I spoke to people about sleep, I spoke to people about variation as well and that's how why i'm giving the, the, you the tips as well and let me know in the comments if you have other tips but that will be it for today's video yam squad again speak to someone if you think you would want to speak to someone if not that's okay too and as always remember to subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button and i'll see you tomorrow